Welcome. This is David Richardson with a job search moment. I am a career consultant with over 20 years experience helping people find jobs and this is the first in a series I've written, a series of what I call short info packets, each offering creative and effective strategies to help you find employment more effectively. In future installments, we will be exploring methods of job search, the resume, both paper and electronic, how to handle the job interview itself, strategies of personal marketing that you can effectively use both before and after the job interview, and related topics. All designed to equip you to find and get the job you're looking for, especially in today's highly competitive job market. In this first edition of a job search moment, we're going to address a puzzling issue. Why do employers ask the kinds of questions that they ask? Tell me about yourself. Are you good under pressure? What do you do in your spare time? And similar questions. When you go to a job interview, you can expect a barrage of questions such as these. Do they intimidate you? They are designed to do precisely that, to get you to say the first thing that comes to your mind that seems halfway related to the question, and that's probably not what you want to do. So what's going on? Perhaps this will help. The question you hear, what animal would you like to be and why, for example, really isn't the question at all. In fact, not one of the questions in a job interview is exactly what it seems to be. The employer has invited you into his office for only one reason, to solve his problem. That has to be his focus. If you were the employer, wouldn't that be your focus? Doesn't that make sense? So he's not really looking for you to tell him the story of your life or to provide other personal information. Do you really think the employer wants to know what kind of animal you would like to be or what you do in your spare time? The employer is simply using these questions to achieve an entirely different objective. He's looking for the answers to three actual questions. The answers to these three questions will help him make a prediction about how well suited you are for the job. He probably won't ask these questions directly because he already knows what you'll say in answer to them. But he'll ask other questions, such as, tell me about yourself, or why did you apply to our company, in order to answer the three questions he's really interested in. They're just that important. What are these three questions? They're simple to state. The first one, can you do the job? This has to do with your skills. In other words, do you have the training and experience required to fill the job opening that the employer needs filled? The second question, two, do you want to do the job? This isn't about skills, it's about motivation. Just because you're able to do something doesn't mean you actually want to do it. So the employer wants to know if the job opening that he needs filled actually matches your career interests. The third question is, will you fit in with the company? This is about good worker traits, like teamwork, your ability to accept supervision, your problem-solving skills, and related social skills that are required to create a smooth-running system for the production of goods or for the delivery of services. If asked directly, you'd say yes to each of these questions. That's predictable. You want the job, after all and employers know this. So they will take the answers that you actually give to the interview questions that they ask and use these to construct answers for the three questions they really want to know about. Sound complicated? Well, it is. Hiring people is complicated and successful job seekers know it. So they approach the interview from the employer's point of view. Each answer they give is designed to respond effectively to the employer's real questions. Can you do the job? Do you want to do the job? And will you fit in with the company? If you don't answer these three questions in each answer you give to the employer's interview questions, then you're missing the job winning targets you need to hit. Instead, you're simply shooting blanks. In the next job search moment, We'll apply this insight to help us effectively answer a question frequently asked during job interviews. Why did you apply to our company? Until next time, 
This is David Richardson for a job search moment saying, you can get that job, so let's get it done.